little bit before I moved, I did have like some, I had picked up some stuff at the store. Um, and I just kind of threw it all in a box. I feel like a couple rounds of drugstore stuff that I'd seen. It's been a while since I purchased this stuff, but I talked it in box and packed it up. So, I would like to go through all the drugstore stuff that I bought. Um, I did get some eyebrow razors from more well, recent. They're all different, all different ones. I think it's Kmart. Yeah, this is Kmart and CVS. Yeah, Kmart and CVS. All of the mixed stuff is CVS, and the Wet and Wild and whatnot is Kmart. These are CVS. Um, we go through the mix. Open this stuff out and we'll see if we do that. There's three razor blades in there. I don't remember how much they cost, but I needed some more. So, I got my very first butter gloss because I have not found mix anywhere and I found it at the CVS right before I moved, actually, in Costco. And I like this color. I got, um, Eclair. So I was excited to get my very first first one. And then I had to go get milk. I had a jumbo eye pencil eye color or something. Um it wasn't NYX. It wasn't as good as NYX. But I threw away my old sharpener because it had gotten old and that was the one that actually fit that pencil. That pencil would not fit in any sharpener. I bought three different sharpeners and that dang pencil would not fit in it. So I was like, screw it. I found the next one and I was like, I'll just buy the next one. And I have a Sephora one that's real good too. So I got that in milk. And then I got black bean for, you know, like if I'm doing a dark shadow, I can use the black bean. So I'm very, very excited about those two. And then I got even more excited because they have an eyeshadow base in a tub, in a little jar. And you can get the pearl white, the white, or like the beige color, just the regular base. I got the white because I do all my neon colors and whatnot. So I was really excited that I could get this in a jar and not just a pencil for milk. It's a, and they're the same consistency. It's like milk in a jar, pretty much. So that sounds funny, milk in a jar. <laughs> um, let's move on to what I got at Gamer. First, I had this, found this Wet n Wild palette. And it is a limited edition pigment collection from Color color icon wet and wild venice beach aka vice city has some uh -huh, color scene colorful scene give your own color commentary with this collection of eight ultra pigment pigmented shades for your play by play um they're not like super great but they're all right um i'll definitely use them the the matte ones aren't as pigmented as i would like them to be like this blue is okay but it like kind of like it's patchy. I can't really see anything. When you get a close, it's kind of patchy and whatnot. And they all are. But like the ones that have more shimmer in them aren't so bad. Um, I think it was like three bucks or something like that. I know I, I got them on sale. Um, some of the new stuff because they had like something over two dollars was like a dollar off or something like that. Or three dollars was a dollar off. So I think I got it for a dollar off. They're not too bad though. I mean, I'll use it. Um. And then I picked up from, I don't know how new their collection is now. Um, because it, 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 time has passed a little bit. I went ahead and got like their Mega Last, their new color liners for um, the summer collection. And I got like this yellow color. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. Do they even have names on it? Shock Therapy is the yellow. Oh, well, this palette was called Boardwalk Daisy. I don't know if it's called that. So we've got Shock Therapy is the yellow. They all have a little smudger on the back of them. So we have that one. We have this dark green one, which I really like, which is Chronic Condition. And I really do like this one. It's a very dark emerald green, and it shimmers pretty well. It's almost like a metallic one. And then we have the pink is the Hit My Sweet Spot. And it is a darker pink. I know the container looks bright, but it's dark. It's a dark matte. And then we have this bright, like, aqua color and misty eyes. And I do love this one, too. It's very creamy. So I'll show you the swatches real quick. There we go. We have the yellow, the emerald green color, the pink, and the aqua. And then we have little lip crayons, or lip cray eye crayons that kind of 
kind of matched. Um, I think there, I don't know if I got all the colors. I think I got all the colors that they had there. I don't know if there was any other colors in that, but I made sure I got all the crayons to match. Um, the pink one's eye candy. The yellow is Chiquita Sunrise. The bluish color is Smurf and Turf. And then the green is Cash It Out. And um, what I didn't like was they had like the, the seal on them. And then when I peeled the seal off, like a lot of the silver writing came off. So like now it's really hard to see the names. They're all like small. So let me swap them for you. And they're not bad. The jumbo eye crayons. I like this pink. It has like a pink shimmer in it. And I love this pink. Eyeliners are a little bit darker than the um, shadow sticks, which works perfectly with them. Okay. So here's the yellow shadow stick, the pink the green and the blue. Um, I like them all. They're not bad. And they were a dollar off, whatever the price is. I don't know what the price is. I'm sorry. But um, I like those. And then I got a brow, wet and wild brow wax pencil. Because I didn't know where mine was, which I found when I unpacked it. I have um, the Ardell one that came with the palette. But I went ahead. This one's like a yellow wax. This one's like a white wax. But I went ahead and bought one because I didn't know, I'd never seen them before. And I wanted to grab it because I didn't know if I'd be able to find it again. And I really like the wax pencils. And I don't really see people using them very much, but I wanted to make sure that I could get my hands on it. Um, let me clean off these swatches real quick so that I can swatch for you. And then I found, oh wait, let me finish off. I got more wet and wild. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. They had some new lip glosses. They were a couple, like three or four dollars a piece. I went ahead and just got one. I wanted to get the green one, but I figured out that they don't have any type of smell, so the green one would not have smelled like apple. Um, what's the name of it? I thought it had, it has a name, but I don't have it on here. Uh, it just says three, four, five, four, three. Um, but it's this pretty pink color with some sparkles in there. There's like pink and silver sparkles in it. Um, it's just like a clear, clearish kind of gloss, and it's a flat soap foot applicator. So I like it. It's not sticky at all. So then it, um, I also decided I would jump on the bandwagon and get Brulee by Wet n Wild for a highlight color, and I absolutely love this. Very excited about that. And then at Kmart. Which I also got the Wet n Wild stuff at. Um, they had a bunch of stuff clearance. It was a dollar fifty for all this clearance stuff I showed. So I jumped on that. <laughs> I got a can uh, Elf Blush Candid Coral. And I really like this. This is like one of those peachy with the gold because of course that's my favorite blush ever. And I, I really like these, but it's a very, very light. This is a light blush. And then I got Fuchsia Fusion, which it kind of looks almost like a lilac color. Well, maybe not. It almost looks like a little purpley, but it's got a lot of shimmer in it. Very, very, very shimmery. But a dollar fifty can't really beat that. So I went with it. Then I had seen Jam Beauty 89 Jessica Bronze. I think she got married. She changed her name. Um, this is her favorite mascara ever. It's the Rimmel Scandalize. I this one's carbon black. It was a dollar forty nine, so I just was like, okay, why not? So we went ahead and got it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it is a big, massive brush, and I absolutely think that's great. She thinks it's the best mascara ever. So the dollar fifty, I was like, what's it gonna hurt for a dollar fifty? And then I picked up two Bonita lip velvets, and they were $1.50 as well. Everything was $1.50. I love these colors. They are amazing. Um, it's a flat go foot applicator, and this stuff.
soft feels like velvet going on. It does not dry like a semi matte, like a satin. But they are beautiful colors. Even this, this one is Nude Indulgence, and this one is Barbie's Muse. And I love Nude Indulgence. It's very, very pretty. It's like a taupey brown color, like a taupey mauve nude color, and I love it. This one is so bright. It is like a Barbie pink. And I thought it was going to look terrible on me. And it actually looks really nice with a neutral eye on me. I know it's very super neon bright. Gosh, it is super neon bright. And that, like the swatches just look insane. But it does really look good on me. And it is like a super shocking pink. And it's called Barbie's Muse, which is absolutely amazing. But as they dry down, they'll, they'll mattify just a little bit. But it's like a liquid lipstick. And they have a very velvet feeling. They feel really good on your lips. I do like them a lot. Um, I did try both of them on and they both looked really good on me and I was really surprised about that pink because I thought I was like gonna just have to toss it or give it away or something but it was only $1.50 so I'm happy. I wish they would have had more colors. So that is it. That is my drugstore haul. Um, that is an older haul. I did get that a while ago so uh, I don't know if you can find any of that stuff that came out on clearance and I don't know if they still have that wet mouth collection on. I'm sorry that it's so old but I thought I would show you guys. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you later.